Exodus 4, verse 1, Miraculous Signs for Pharaoh. Then Moses answered and said, But suppose they will not believe me or listen to my voice. Suppose they say, The Lord has not appeared to you. So the Lord said to Moses, What is that in your hand? Moses said, A rod. And God said, Cast it on the ground. So Moses cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, Reach out your hand and take it by the tail. And Moses reached out his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has appeared to you. Furthermore, the Lord said to him, Now put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hand in his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous like snow. And God said, Put your hand back in your bosom again. So Moses put his hand back in his bosom again and drew it out of his bosom. And behold, it was restored like his other flesh. Then it will be, if they do not believe you, nor heed the message of the first sign, that they may believe the message of the latter sign. And it shall be, if they do not believe even these two signs, or listen to your voice, that you shall take water from the river and pour it on the dry land. The water which you take from the river will become blood on the dry land. Then Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to Moses, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? Have not I, the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you shall say. But but Moses said, O my Lord, please send by the hand of whomever else you may send. And so the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and God said, Is not Aaron the Levite, the Lemvite, your brother? I know that he can speak well, and look, he also is coming out to meet you. When he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. Now you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth, and I will be with your mouth and with his mouth, and I will teach you what you shall do. So he shall be your spokesman to the people. And he himself shall be as a mouth for you, and you shall be to him as God. And you shall take this rod in your hand, with which you shall do the signs.